Carl Dorian Braves, uh, founded in 2019, actually came from a French football academy called Edusport, which I set up in 2011. So I'm actually from Glasgow, but I've lived in Paris for the last 20 years, and I set up an academy to bring young French footballers into Scotland to combine football education and travel, and that led one thing into another. Um, and today we have Caledonian Braves, who um, essentially came through a private football academy, so quite unique here in Scotland. Yeah, I believe you you, you were uh, had the first French all French team. Am I right in saying yeah, that? Yeah, we did actually. We actually won the um, we won the when I set up the academy. It was just French footballers. We used to play a lot of yeah. friendly games, and I thought, okay, let's try and get us into a league so we can yeah. play competitive games. At that point, maybe you can go under twenty ones, under eighteens, or amateurs. And I thought, you know what, let's try and get into the pyramid. East of Scotland there was two divisions, South of Scotland there was one, so I thought, you know, let's go try and get into the South. Yeah. We were admitted into the South of Scotland and then we became a, a real football club and then we actually won the South of Scotland League Cup twice, which actually placed in the Hamden, the, the Football Museum in Hamden, yeah. um, d documents contemporary football history apparently, and then we won the, the South of Scotland League as well and we became the first club to be promoted from Tier 6 to Tier 5, which was fantastic. Yeah, I've visited the Lions Park and you've got all that set out in the wall, it's very good, it's very interesting for the fan to visit. Hey, you see all the history and the story about the Caledonian Braves. Yeah, of course, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, obviously we're a young club, so we don't have that much history, if you like, but for the time that we've been about, we've, we've achieved quite a lot, you know, but it's hopefully it's only the start, you know. Here today, Longlithgow, um, Longlithgow Rose, a lot of history in the game, you know, um, just went, you know, went through the, the social club, you yeah. see there's maybe yeah. about 100 people in there having some food and, and you know, you can see how, how positive this club is to the local impact and we aspire to do that, you yeah. know, obviously we have a lot of fans internationally. But we're, we're keen as well to try and go over the local community in and around Motherwell. It's my first time down here at Lithgow Rose. Great, right. great, great wee set up. Um, and my cousin is a bit of a legend down here, a, a young guy called Tommy Coyne. All right. Um, found this level here, scored a lot of goals. Probably <laughs> he enjoyed it. He really enjoyed this football here, you know. And I think I don't know, he's the top, I think he's the top goal scorer. Right, thanks very much, Chris. That was really interesting.